Look guys, the horn is going side ahead. We imagine it has a great part of it. Got it! Hey guys, we took the animal down and it's ready to start passing this case on to you guys. It's another case of a horde going into the head. I'll try to show you here before we do the procedure. Uh, Roger, go over there because you're shading here. Look guys, the horn is entering the head and we imagine that a good part of the horn is already inside her head. This animal is at risk of life because this horn grows and enters her head and one hour this horn will end up killing the, the animal. So we were called, well the owner called us and we have just finished the procedure in which we're going to post on the channel for you. We have already come here straight late afternoon, it's getting dark, the animal is very agitated, we're going to start the procedure, it's expecting a cough, so there's that be the quick procedure. What happens, we're going to cut only the tip as she's pregnant we, and she's advanced, we're not going to remove the horn, because it is not good, after the cough is wind, we're going to remove the horn. And why to do the removal of the horn, guys? Perhaps, so that the same thing that's already happening does not happen, because the horn grows back. <laughs> Can you hold her ear, please? So in this case, Rogério, he is solving the horn here. It's like a, a bone, guys. So there's a layer of blood, but it's much further back than where Rogério is removing it. So it has no bloodline. It's this, it is the same material of the hoofs, guys. Look, guys, this little tip that Rogério is extracting, there is no bloodline. So we cut it. Let the sun hit here, guys. Take a look. So the cut was made, and now we need now to remove it. We're going to do it carefully, and we can see how much it went inside the animal's head. And it looks like it went in a lot. So let's make the removal slowly, and we will show you guys here. Oh, take a look at this. It's not much, but look. It's, you see, it's just a question of the widest of a finger or so, and this here is even less than the other one that we gave you, which was another treatment that had a little bit more. But here the horn is still growing until the, you know, it's time for the hoof get in the hoof. And when it gets inside and cuts the ladder, make a hole, and when the fly settles down, it will lay legs. So it is necessary to put the scaring on the animal. It was very dated. We're trying to hold the animal in every way. The procedure is also quick. Let's let's now just close her eyes. And what we can do here. We're now doing a layer to do not let any kind of fly sit down. And what the owner will have to do here on a daily basis, this type of procedure, passing the silver medicine or a medicine to not have larvae because this is very important. And after the animal has a calf, we will make the horn removal and remove it so as not to risk uh, of it coming back in here and hurting the animal. See, Roger removed it in the correct line. You see that there is no trace of blood, guys. It's really amazing his work. The part that was removed is just the material on the other side. So it hasn't happened yet. Maybe it's good to remove the tip, but apparently it is not necessary yet. In four two months, the two horns will be removed of both horns. Look, guys, it's just a piece of a centimeter 
a little further inside and many times it is that the animal ends up feeling pain, gets in the way and actually hurts the animal. So that is the treatment that has already been carried out. You are going to release this animal and how we talk to you, uh, how, as, we, as we talk it to you guys, we are going to remove the horn, but not now. We are not going to do the procedure as was we, we, as we have done in the treatment of another animal, uh, removing the horn, because look at the size of this animal's valley, guys. They are now doing the cleaning that the medicine put on a small ward in the area over there on the leg, and the, the animal is well advanced, so we don't want to harm her calf. And we are already taking advantage of it because the animal is very agitated. So she and she comes up of people. So let's take advantage of the fact that she's immobilized. Let's put medication on all the wounds she already has. So she doesn't have any problems. Let's follow the cowboy's guidance here because the animal is wroth. So resolved for the time being removed that it was bothering the animal get inside the head. This year keeps growing eventually it ends up killing the animal. The animal ends up losing its life just because of that. So thank God it worked. After she has the cough will go come back here to remove the two horns and she won't have any more problems. I hope you like it. Share this video, subscribe to our channel, follow us on our Facebook page. Leave in the comments how it is in your region today here, was a day that came out a little sunny, so it was raining a lot, see how many flies came here just because of the horn part, but it was raining a lot here in our region, leave in the comments how it was the region of you and also the region where you are watching us, I hope you enjoyed the treatment too. Stay with God until the next time, God willing. Our motto is to listen to those who have no voice to be heard.